And here we are. I hear the planes outside. And the plane is looking to find two remaining players to play some Trekmania in the Air France Trekmania Cup in a commercial flight. Dunster versus Rolin versus Cap versus Bresso. We have four different nationalities being represented here. We have Bresso from Germany with no team right now. Cap from France, also no team at this point after having left Gamers Origin. Rolin from Austria for Team Pulse and Dunster for Team Ace Tech with uh, the Danish flag at this point. We're going to be playing until 120 points and with finalist mode, of course, as per usual on the first map, which is going to be takeoff. The most likely, the most technical map out of this map pack, which consists of five maps made by the community. And all of these maps, as you might be able to guess, they have this airport based theme. So the maps look a lot like an airport, a Trackmania airport. This one from the outside looks absolutely fantastic. A lot of work went into these maps. And now it is gaming time. Dunster has been putting a lot of effort into practicing. I know that he has been uh, on the grind for the past week. Rolin for sure also warmed up together with Cap. And a pleasant surprise is going to be uh, Bresso right here. Who I didn't know that he's actually going to try this. And now he is here and potentially going to fight for that uh, plane ticket. And now we have two people actually getting the slowdown from the dirt to roll transition. Roland and Dunster both getting the exact same slowdown. Cap will be in the lead, followed by Bresso. So Dunster and Roland have lost a significant amount of time. That part is pretty nasty. It is especially annoying when you try to maximize this map when time attacking. A lot, uh, a lot of slowdowns have ruined my runs there, ruined my attempts. I'm sure that can be applied to other players as well that have tried this map. But yeah, this one. Oh, Bresso with an unfortunate mistake. And he goes from second to fourth. That was a very, very unfortunate throw right there for him. Cap will take it with ease. He's a whole, whole second ahead. So an easy snack for Cap. Roland and Dunster have gotten the slowdown. Bresso with that, I would say, avoidable mistake coming down to the end part. So uh, 10 for Cap, 6 for Roland, 4 for Dunster and Bresso with 3 points. Also, thank you for the 100 bits. That is very amazing. All right, this time around, no one is gonna eat a slowdown, which is very nice, even though we have Bresso who went for a little bit of a different approach entering the dirt. But he was able to at least hold up a decent amount of exit speed coming out of that dirt. So right now he's in third place, but the fight for first is hot and spicy between Dunster and Roland. Roland with the inside line, Dunster trying to go a bit wider for more speed, but has to lift off and didn't really get that drift all too nicely. So it will be Roland that actually pulls away at this point. Point 27 of a second ahead at the checkpoint. And it looks like Dunster and Roland are set in stone for now. But Cap is attacking Dunster as we speak. Cap with a lot more speed goes up to P2. That might be a bit of a tight drift here. Keeps the gear at least. And that way he will stay on that second place. That ending, very difficult to get right. Because you can't drop your gear and then you can't make it up the gap. So uh, gotta make sure that you keep enough speed there. A tie for first between Roland and Cap. Dunster with 8 and Bresso with 6 after the first two rounds on takeoff. So far, quite an even match. A little bit of a back and forth in every round, so that is definitely looking promising. And there goes Dunster, fully into the wall right there. Didn't have uh, the aimbot enabled to go through that gap, so Dunster is dead, completely dead, leaving his opponent players alone. Roland in the lead. Cap trying to attack here with a bit more speed. Tries to drift a bit less, but this line is just completely different in its nature. Cap with a bit more speed here and also here translates it into a small advantage but then he clips his back tire on that uh, on that drift and he goes all the way down to third place. Roland takes it with a 50.318. Bresson on second, Cap on third and Dunster will get last.
And with this, Roland is going to extend his lead by 6 points. 26 now for the Austrian powerhouse, who is also competing in the Trackmania Grand League. Cap with 20, didn't make it in the TMGL. Bresso with 12 and Dunster 11, also a TMGL contender, but he wasn't able to qualify for the playoffs. Round number 4 out of 5. Dunster, wow, that was a very, very risky exit. Went a bit too wide, lost a bit of speed. But not too big of a setback. Roland completely popping off in this round. 1800s ahead already at this point. Leaving no chance for any of his opponents so far. Bresso a bit further behind. Most likely not going to have a saying in this round. Cap. Ooh, that's not the greatest angle. But Dunst is too far away to, uh, to, to really capitalize on this. Roland! Oh my god! Roland went way too wide. And that was a throw and a half right here by the Austrian player. Hit the wall on the left, ping-ponged to the right, and from first to last, he goes within a blink of an eye. Big, big point loss here for him. That is an upset. And you will have to give Cap the first place in the scoreboard. 30 points now for Cap. He is on P1. Final round on takeoff, we see uh, Bresso who is struggling a bit with the dirt. <laughs> and also here, another mistake by the German player. So he will be dead last here and <laughs> won't be able to get some extra points. Rolling on first, will he uh, throw it away again? Or uh, take it easy? Very close fight between all of these three players. We have only a tenth between uh, Rolling Cap and Dunstan, but there goes Cap! Into the pole, similar mistake to what Bresso did in uh, round one. And now the neck and neck battle between Dunster and Roland. Who's going to get it? Seven thousands of a second between Roland and Dunster. Coming down to the finish line. 0.228 and a 0.235 by Roland and Dunster. Very good battle here up front. And with that, it will be Roland that recovers that first place on the scoreboard. 39 for him now. Cap with 33. Dunster 23 and Bresso with 20 after map one. Hamanshi, thank you for the three month resub man. Welcome back, Riolo Hug, and like Johnny, also subscribing. Thank you so much. Dankeschön. And welcome to the best place to be. And uh, this one's gonna be our second map here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't miss your flight by Wouter. This one will certainly make up for some close fights as well due to the sheer nature of the track. Here it's a lot about keeping the momentum up high. One tiny mistake and you won't have very high chances to come, to, to come back again because the map is rather simple. So in case you miss time one drift, then it will be difficult to recover from that. But a lot of things that can possibly go wrong. 47, 651, the current fastest time or the fastest known time at least by uh, Sam P. Tween who has qualified in qualifier 1 so he will be in the plane together with all of the other qualified players and two out of those four players that we have here will also qualify and will play some juicy track mania in a flying plane here we go round 1 out of 5 on map 2 Everyone is off to a good start. Dunster with a bit of an oversteer. But that is still better than touching the wall on the inside. So Dunster still well within reach. Even though he did suffer from a bit of a deficit here. 0.25 hundreds behind at the previously passed checkpoint. Ah, but he clipped. And that is going to be uh, the F for Dunster. Cap on first. Rolling. Trying to attack and Cap now. Didn't hit the wall. Entered it too tight. And that will leave the two German-speaking players, Roland from Austria and Bresso from Germany, alone in the lead. Quite a big distance between those two, even though Roland is going to land on the glass almost, which is something that you do want to avoid. As you can see, Roland with no speed whatsoever. If the map was a bit longer, then Bresso certainly would have been able to actually overtake uh, Roland at that point. But uh, lucky for Roland that the ring that 
the plane is kind of holding up there is pretty short. So, uh, round number two is underway. Nesso, not with the best uh, precision right here. Dunst is stumbling over the inside Randstein. And Bresso, whoa, up to first place he goes. After that wonky beginning, he got a very, very good drift with a very good exit speed. However, here he's lost it again. A nice back and forth between all of these players. Cap had to release a little bit. Who's gonna get the wall? Oh, Bresso and Roland both dead in the wall right. Have tried to enter it as low as possible because as per usual with walls, you do want to uh, stay as low as possible and to minimize the time that you are actually in the wall. So that is a costly, costly mistake for both Roland and Bresso. Dunce will take 10. 10 points that he desperately needs. And also Cap with 6 points will be able to come a bit closer to Roland by 2 points to be exact. Round number three, here we go. Looking good for everyone again. Bresso, once again, is gonna be our cameraman. Let's see what he's gonna be uh, burning into this corner. Nothing too good by the looks of it. That was a very safe drift. A bit too Marius 5 safe at this point. Oh, Roland! Very nice backflip right here. And he was even able to land it. Very nice. Roland pretending to be in the plane already. He went flying. Dunster most likely gonna win. Another very important 10 points for the Danish player. And there he goes. Very, very good time as well. 47, 8, 4, 6 by Dunster. Very, very good. Cap on P2, Bresso on third. And there goes Roland, Mr. Backflip, who at least gets three points on his account. Round five. Uh, round four, actually. Round four. Roland with an eight point advantage. And then we have Dunster, who closed dangerously. Uh, close. He, he closed in very, very closely to, uh, to Cap. Only one point right here. Ooh, Dunster almost clips the wall on the outside. Might have been a bit of a release. But here he comes back. Very nicely again, risking it for the biscuit. And enters the wall. Just as nicely. Ah, he had to release, but at least he didn't hit his forehead on the checkpoint. But he has to let Roland and Cap slip through here. Onto the grass part we go. Cap, will he make anything happen here? No, not by the looks of it. Roland will redeem himself after the backflip. And gets 10 good points for him. Cap on second, followed by Dunstan Bresso. Now we have round number five. One more time on this map. Where Dunst has been shining through pretty well. So let's take a look what he is uh, going to be doing. One more chance to maybe get another ten points. He seems to be confident on this one. And Dunst, of course, he is mostly a dirt player. Or he came from dirt... And he has also been giving a couple of other environments a try. He's also hunting the Super Track Masters, for example, in Trackmania Turbo. So he is a versatile and very talented player. Right now fighting between uh, himself and Bresso. Bresso with a more direct inside line on the grass. Dunste with a bit less speed. And looks like we are going to have our positions here. Cap, Bresso, Dunste and Roland. Sub 48 time by Cap, who gets 10 points. Roland only got fourth, so the gap will shrink by seven whole points. That was a very good round for Cap. The point limit is 120, so we're pretty much halfway through our match right here. And the third map, Orly. 
is definitely ready to shuffle around the scoreboard a little bit. Definitely a good map for Roland, I would say. But also for Dunster. I have seen he got a very good time in practice. So he definitely knows what to do here. But in this pressure situation, it is, of course, a completely different story. It is difficult to keep yourself calm, knowing that there is something on the barbecue here. And it is a flight ticket. So pressure is on for all of these four players. Bresso is in uh, fourth place with 42 points. It is going to be uh, quite difficult to keep up with the pace here. I think Bresso is someone that mostly capitalizes on others' mistakes. Bresso hasn't been the fastest at any point of this match. And also not the most consistent one. So for Bresso, I think he is low-key hoping that others are going to make some mistakes. And that he's going to clutch in some 10-pointers maybe in, in the best case. But yeah, for the others, we only have 14 points between Roland and Dunster between first and third place. So anything can go. Here we go with the first round. Cap, the only one that goes for a uh, opposite direction zigzag on the first downhill, which is a very common trick in this game to maximize the grip going down the hill. If you go straight, then you will jump a little bit, but uh, picking that diagonal line will keep the wheels gripped and that will give you more speed. Very good beginning by everyone. We see Dunster taking over the lead here after a very successful uphill left uh, right-hander. Rolling on second, also super experienced on dirt. Bresso lost his speed. I don't think that was a very good gear change. So let's switch further to Cap, who is on third place. Up the sculpture we go. Looking like a very good approach for both Dunst and Roland. Cap, oh, Roland, bit wonky, but he didn't lose too much speed. So Cap will not come any closer. And Dunst with a 47,995. That is a monster time. Only three points now between Cap and Dunster. This could be an opportunity for Dunster. Points that he will desperately need. If he wants to uh, maybe qualify for the plane. Next round. Ooh, Dunster with a mistake. But this one wasn't too bad, luckily. Because you kind of need to slow down for the dirt entry anyway. So after that little wall clip, Dunster with a very good recovery. He is well within reach, so... He can certainly make something happen. Ah, but he got the accidental no slide there. Trying to uh, go into that right-hander. So that's definitely going to be an F. Rolling on P1. Slightly different angle choice compared to Cap. And now the ending. Oh, Rolling clipped. Rolling dead. Rolling dead. But he will at least be able to finish. But Bresso. Oh my god. I mean, Dunst is sniped Rolling right in front of the finish line. Rolling has lost it in the ending completely from first to last massive snipe right there all right what a bonkers of a beginning by Roland. he jumped super far but the first mistake of this round is made by Bresso Dunst is stumbling a bit Almost clipped the wall, but he was able to stabilize and is in a fight for P2 between Roland and Dunstan. No one is going for the no slide on the off-road part. Which is something that not a lot of people did, but it is definitely faster. Cap is first, and this part now very important. Dunstan with a bit more speed. Roland got the lower jump, but Dunstan has gotten that SD better. So uh, Dunstan with more speed and is trying to contest Cap for that first place. Now Dunstan with a slightly different line here. Oh, 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 oh. Rolin, the man who snipes it now. Redemption time for the Austrian player. Very good run at the end by Rolin. Gets another 10. And now there's 6 points between uh, Rolin and Cap. And then another 7 points down to Dunstan. Round 4. The time around, Bresso avoids the mistake. We haven't really seen a lot from him on this map. Doesn't seem to be his favorite. He's lurking in the shadows with 54 points. But 
he's gonna give us a good overview over what's happening. Now this part. Here is where all of the speed is being generated over this long freewheel part with the back boost as well. Like every piece of speed matters there. Cap is on first. Dunst and Roland following up right behind. The ending is going to be very decisive. Roland gets it very nicely but clips the inside and Cap will stay ahead of Dunst and also Bresso will snipe Roland in front of the finish line. So with, with Roland it's either last or first on this map it seems like. And uh, yeah, that is costly, because now Cap has taken over that first place again, but only by one point. Razor has qualified together with Papu in the first final. So these two have already uh, secured their ticket. And now it will be between Cap, Roland, and Dunster. Because Bresso is not, re not really able to keep up right now with all of the others. And now once again, for the final time, the ending is being approached. Dunster with a bit more speed, trying to pass Roland. The approach, very important. How you enter, how you exit. Dunster had to completely lift off and even Clips drops down all the way to last place. Is he going to make the gap here? Yes, you will. Roland gets first again. So, uh, as I said, Roland either first or last on this map by the looks of it. 48-10 versus 48-28 by Cap. And another position change at the top. It's a nice yo-yo effect between Roland and Cap all the way they're trading their positions. Seems like neither of them wants to be second. One hundred and one points for Roland, so he could become finalist here on this map, but so can Cap, and potentially even Dunstan. That is the big question mark here. We're going on to Airmania, the duo map between uh, Mikmo and PLTX. This one is going to be very important, since we are coming closer and closer to the one hundred twenty point point limit. Of course, including the good old finalist mode. And yeah, Haki Jr., as you pointed out in the chat, has the second local. So he did actually qualify, or try to qualify earlier, but he dropped out by simply rage quitting. But yeah, that's uh, none of our business here. We are gonna focus on what we have right now in this match. And we have Roland, Cap, and Dunstan. 16, 17 points apart from each other. Let's go. Dunst and Roland off to the greatest start. Have already accumulated a little bit of a gap. Cap has fallen behind, so this is a very good opportunity for uh, both Dunst and Roland to come closer. Especially Dunst needs the points. So if he wants to have a saying in this match, he should make sure that he doesn't throw that first place away. Since his direct opponent Cap is right now finding himself on last place. Bresso with the no slide, giving Roland extra two points by the looks of it. Dunster with low speed, Roland coming a tad closer, 0.4 of a second here. The difference between first and second place, now the ending. Dunster is gonna go for the risky ramp skip, but he is successful at it and will clock in a good time. 50.297 for Dunster, followed by Roland, Cap and Bresso. So uh, this will be quite good for Dunster, as he's coming closer and closer to the three digit point mark. One hundred seven for Roland, one hundred two for Cap. Step by step, we're coming closer to the finalist mode, which means that you need to win another round to secure your position. Cap with the weakest left-hand drift lost a whole tenth of a second, but here he's opting for a lot of speed. Here is where uh, speed generation is really, really important, and Cap did that really nicely. Roland didn't get the best ceiling hit. And we see Cap going from last all the way up to second place. 
Goes for an air break, unlike Dunster, who let his nose dip into the ground to force a nose dive and to trigger the drift that way, which I'm pretty sure is faster to do. Dunstone first. Then we have Cap on P2. Rollin uh, trying to attack Bresso, but by the looks of it, we are going to have our position set in stone unless something at the end happens. Nope. Nothing happens at the end. Cap was coming dangerously close to Dunster, but he stayed ahead by three hundredths of a second. Dunster with the next ten. Cap with six. Bresso with four. Rollin with three. Now this is getting really spicy. Ladies and gentlemen, only six points left. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. 110, 108, 104. If Roland wins this round, he will be finalist and he will be ahead by a very important round. This is a three-man battle at this point. And then there's Bresso, chilling there with 69 points. Dunster having to lift off there. Not the greatest exit speed out of that aforementioned. Very important right-hand corner. Cap versus Roland fighting for that first place. Cap, of course, knows that he needs to deny Roland. Otherwise, we're going to have our first finalist coming into the next round. Roland trying to attack. Gets a very good speed out of this one. We'll have the better angle and the better setup for this left-hand corner. Roland with very good speed. Risking it for the biscuit. Cap with pretty much the same outcome speed. And now it will come down to the last turn. Who will get this one better? In the best case, you want to keep the, the, the gear right there. I think Cap has a bit more speed. Roland clips! Roland clips and gets passed by Bresso as well. And that was the throw of the century right here. Roland has thrown away his opportunity to become a finalist before everyone else. This is a mistake that can happen in a pressure situation like this. That gap is barely wider than your own car. So even if it might look easy here uh, for the couch potatoes here on Twitch TV, being in this Formula 1 car is actually a lot more difficult than you might think. 118 for Cap, 114 for Roland, 107 for Dunster. So we might see two finalists, but Roland clips again. And this is the perfect opportunity for Cap to close it out now and to become a finalist. Dunster trying to attack, gets a lot of speed out of that part. Bresso also in the mix right here. But he wasn't able to do a lot in this regard. Bresso never really up front. Which is the reason why he's so far behind. But maybe in this round he can make something happen. He has nothing to lose. Dunster versus Cap. Dunster with a bit more speed. He's going for the more direct line. Dunster trying to uh, make anything happen. But it's only six thousands of a second between Cap and Dunster. And that was a spicy fight coming towards the ending. Dunster with uh, the precision advantage in the ending. If the finish block was one unit further away, then he would have had it. Cap now with his first finalist attempt. Roland still not there. 117. Dunster 130. So we can see a triple finalist uh, situation right here. If Cap gets denied, Roland finishes and Dunster gets first. Then we are actually going to see a triple finalist situation. So let's take a look. Cap right now. The man to take a look at. He is first. And he might secure himself a slot in the plane. And he extends his lead further and further. The others are trying so hard, but their risk is not being paid off right now. As we have Cap on a banger of a run right here. Roland crashes. Cap almost touching the wall on the outside. And there's only one turn tearing Cap and his plane ticket apart. All of the others are falling apart. And this is going to be Cap who will qualify himself for the Air France Trek Mania Cup. Ticket number nine goes to Cap. Welcome to the plane gg cap will do it and roland will now be a finalist as well he managed to finish and this is his time to shine however not on this map the final map is gonna be the best map of this map pack made by riolo wow who said that who said that? We have we have some frequency issues right here. I think I fixed it. So we have Roland in final status. Dunster 117. He also just needs to finish at this point. So if Roland gets denied, then uh, we might see a double finalist here. And I think Roland is not in the greatest situation right now he got denied multiple times he had the chance to become finalist first 
and he didn't use it. So uh, the pressure is definitely on for Roland, and he is someone that will either shine through now or completely fall apart. So let's take a look here at Roland. He has the second fastest time on this map, 46.343. Will he make something out of it? This is a very difficult map to get through. A lot of parts that you, that you can possibly mess up. So uh, Dunster and Bresso are waiting for opportunities to deny Austrian player Roland. This is gonna be exciting. Round number one, here we go. Roland's first finalist attempt. Very different approaches by everyone. Dunster with the most inside line carries the best amount of speed here though. Is uh, able to handle the dirt gears the best. Dunster in the lead by miles at this point. Roland on second place right now unable to make anything happen. He is roughly 0.2 behind. And Bresso is still there. He is still there. Oh, Dunster bonks! Dunster bonks! And it's also Bresso who makes the mistake. And they are basically gifting Roland the ticket into the plane right here. Roland on his way to qualify for the Air France Trackmania Cup. He knows that he got it. And he is making it with a 47-19. Dunster has thrown it away right there with a bonk into the wall. Roland will be the last player. The 10th ticket is going to Austria. Pulse Roland will qualify for the Air France Trackmania Cup. GG.